Absolutely, and I repeat, it is absolutely paramount that the people around them actually go out of their way to check them. And what you don't want to do is wait until a crisis happens and then act in. The idea here is you speak up so it never actually gets to that point in the first place. If you have that kind of access to them, if you already have a bond and a deep friendship with them, it is your job to make sure they stay on a path that's going to help them stay intact. In this Juice World case, I'm not sure what that looked like, so I'm not even going to speak on it. All I'm saying is is the influence of whoever is speaking into their ear is beyond powerful. This news is very reminiscent of the Famous Dex case. Famous Dex was, as a lot of us already know, on an extremely destructive path that unfortunately caught up to him. He was really struggling man and obviously that's no secret. He told us that through the music. The dark side of this is imagine how much he must have been struggling mentally if he was set on continuing with that lifestyle even after agreeing to go to rehab. It's almost like Juice unfortunately couldn't picture himself living that life of sobriety. He was so deep into that lifestyle to the point where he couldn't see a possibility of him even going back to himself. That's probably one of the saddest things about the situation and considering this news right here, the fact that he at least was willing to check into rehab, it breaks my heart man. Life goes on right, but I'm hoping that any artist out there, any rapper who's struggling with addiction hears about this news and realizes that number one, it's definitely not too late, but number two, it can get to a point where it actually is too late. Juice World was not planning on leaving the earth that week before December 8th when he was popping more than four, but he did, right? Moral of the story, get help because even if it's not too late yet, at some point as the clock is ticking, you might arrive at a place where the opportunity of you you saving yourself has passed and you don't want that to happen. But yeah, Juice World has definitely been on my mind a lot as of lately. I don't know what it is, man. Maybe something in the air, I'm not sure. But this news right here, man, absolutely did not make me feel better about things. My opinion aside, what do you think about this though? Juice World agreed to go to rehab before his passing. How do you feel about that? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and we'll stop discussion about this. bunch of narcotics and firearms, you then find out that the feds have swarmed the airport waiting for you. You start to panic, you're not in the right headspace because you're already off something and then boom, you act on it faster than you can blame the right headspace because you're already off something and then boom, you act on it faster than you can blink swallow the pills and uh, yeah. Had Juice Wall gone to rehab that same month like he was supposed to, maybe this would have never happened. But like Chris said, Juice did not want to stop. This is something Lil Bibby also talked about on that DJ Vlad interview. I don't want to say that Juice was in denial. He was, from what I can see, just addicted. This is the reality of addiction. This is how it plays out. You could have a million people around you telling you to stop, but if you can't find the inner strength inside of yourself to actually stop, the same movie's gonna keep on playing until it ends which that movie for the late Juice World obviously ended. Does any of this make me feel better about anything that has to do with Juice's passing? Absolutely not. But then again, we, we can't ignore reality when it's right in front. So sad, so sad. But um, yeah, any any thoughts on this? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and uh, subscribe with us with a bunch of narcotics and firearms, you then find out that the feds have swarmed the airport waiting for you. You start to panic, you're not in the right headspace because you're already off something and then boom, you act on it faster than you can blink, 
swallow the pills and he was. Obviously he knew Juice did not want to stop. It's presumably why he agreed to go to rehab, but like Chris said, Juice did not want to stop. This is something Lil Bibby also talked about on rehab, but like Chris said, Juice did not want to stop. Rehab, but like Chris said, Juice did not want to stop. This is something like Chris said, Juice did not want to stop. This is something Lil Bibby also talked about on that DJ Vlad interview. I don't want to say that Juice was in denial. He was, from what I can see, just addicted. This is the reality of addiction. This is how it plays out. You could have a million people around you telling you to stop, but if you can't find the inner strength inside of yourself to actually stop, the same movie is gonna keep on playing until it ends, which that movie for the late Juice World obviously ended. Does any of this make me feel better about anything that has to do with Juice's passing? Absolutely not, but then again, we, we can't ignore reality when it's right in front of us. But yeah, I don't even know what to say, man. A lot of this information we actually knew, like the Juice hiding the pills from the fence theory, that was false. But I guess this, I don't I don't know, serves as confirmation for how addicted Juice actually was to the point where he was lying about the amount he was using. It's kind of to actually people around you. DJ Vlad interviews Chris himself knew that it was an issue. He was hiding the amount of drugs he was taking. That's how deep into it he was. Obviously, he knew that it was an issue, which is presumably why he agreed to go to rehab. But like Chris said, Juice did not want to stop. This is something Lil Baby also talked about on that DJ Vlad. Like Chris was waiting for you you start to panic you're not in the right headspace because you're already off something and then boom you act on it faster than you can blink swallow the pills and uh, yeah had juice well gone to rehab that same month like he was supposed to maybe this would have never happened like chris himself said juice was hiding the amount of drugs he was taking that's how deep into it he was obviously he knew that it was an issue which is presumably why he agreed to go to rehab but like chris said juice did not want to stop this is something Lil Bibby also talked about on that dj Vlad interview. I don't want to say that Juice was in denial. He was, from what I can see, just addicted. This is the reality of addiction. This is how it plays out. You could have a million people around you telling you to stop, but if you can't find the inner strength inside of yourself to actually stop, the same movie's gonna keep on playing until it ends, which that movie for the late Juice World obviously ended. Does any of this make me feel better about anything that has to do with Juice's passing? Absolutely not, but then again, we, we can't ignore reality when it's right in front of us. But yeah, I don't even know what to say man a lot of this information we actually knew like the juice hiding the pills from the fence theory that was false but i guess this i don't i don't know serves as confirmation for how addicted juice actually was to the point where he was lying about the amount he was using that boy was clearly hurting man and it's so sad so sad but um yeah any any thoughts on this definitely let me know in the comment section below and uh subscribe about this Chris said, Juice did not want to stop, is presumably why he agreed to go to rehab, but like Chris said, Juice did not want to stop. This is something Lil Bibby also talked about on that DJ Vlad interview. I don't want to say that Juice was in denial. He was, from what I can see, just addicted. This is the reality of addiction. This is how it plays out. You could have a million people around you telling you to stop, but if you can't find the inner strength inside of yourself to actually stop, the same movie's gonna keep on playing until it ends, which that movie for the late Juice World 
obviously ended. Does any of this make me feel better about anything that has to do with Juice's passing? Absolutely not, but then again, we, we can't ignore reality when it's right in front of us. But yeah, I don't even know what to say, man. A lot of this information we actually knew, like the Juice hiding the pills from the feds theory, that was false. But I guess this, I don't, I don't know, serves as confirmation for how addicted Juice actually was to the point where he was lying about the amount he was using. That boy was clearly hurting, man, and it's so sad, so sad. But. Uh,